name is Ashley Schaefer. I'm going to talk today about the importance of riding the hindquarters. Um, I know I've talked a little bit in the past about um, there's so many ways to train a barrel horse, there's so many ways to win. Um, I personally, I really like to ride the hindquarters and I find it to be very important. Um, I know it's not the only way, but I'm just going to go through a little bit about um, why I do it and how I get my horses to respond to it. So, in my opinion, in order to have good equi equitation, you're going to be seated where your heels and your hips and your shoulders are pretty in line. Okay. Um, the reason that I find it to be really important to ride the hindquarters is because I feel like if you're sitting right here instead of up here, you have a lot more control of the horse's body. Okay. If I'm sitting back here, it's very easy for me to use my legs the way that I need to. Um, if I'm sitting here, my legs are going to get back behind me a little bit and my shoulders are going to be up here throwing this horse off balance a little bit and getting him a little bit more front endy. The horse is going to put its, wherever our weight is or our, uh, our point of balance, our horses are going to kind of tend to drop to that. Okay, so if I get up here and say I kind of lean over the shoulder, I feel like this horse is going to try to get right here and drop into that and, and get on its front end. Okay, if I'm sitting back here, I feel like that horse is really going to keep its front end or hind end engaged and its front end is going to be up here freed up to get where it needs to get, okay? Because I'm not over its front end. So for me, when I'm loping a circle or when I want a horse to go, I'm not necessarily going to lean forward to get it to go. I'm going to be sit sitting back here and then I'm going to stay sitting back here. And when I want the horse to turn, I can use this leg and push this horse around in this turn without having to use my hands or lean over the shoulder or any of that, okay? And he keeps his hind end engaged then. Whoa. Versus if I'm leaning up over his shoulder, I feel like he's gonna kick his hip around and get kind of down here and get strung out. Okay, so for me, it's really easy to keep your horse collected and keep its hind end driving up under it if I'm seated, okay? So I just like to be right here. And I can get my horse to move out or in without having to do anything with my hands, just with my legs because I'm in this seated position where I can use my legs really easily, okay? And he can stay collected. I'm squeezing my calves on him, keeping him collected. Now I'm gonna move him back out. I can move him wherever I want to because I'm in a seated position and I can use my legs. You, you probably can't necessarily see me doing much with my legs, but I'm in a position where I can use my legs so easily because I'm seated and riding the hindquarters. So I have control of everything from right here forward versus if I'm up over the front of him where I can't really use my legs. See how strung out he gets? Okay, so if I get to my turn and I do this, what's he gonna do? He's gonna get strung out. He's slinging his butt around there, okay? But if I'm right here, see how much better he drives his hind end up under him?